Our top focus at this hour. Now, shuttle diplomacy at all levels to defuse the growing hostility between Russia and the West over Ukraine conflict seems to be failing, even at the highest levels. U.S. President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin held a telephonic conversation for over an hour. But the talks between the two presidents failed to ease tensions. Now, during the call, U.S. President Joe Biden insisted that Russia will face swift and severe costs if its troops carry out an invasion and that such a step would produce widespread suffering and isolate Moscow. Washington says that the call between the two leaders has brought no major change in the Ukraine standoff. A White House statement said that the United States remains prepared to engage in diplomacy and is also prepared for other scenarios. Both leaders, however, have agreed to continue dialogue. Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin also discussed U.S. and NATO response to Moscow's proposals on long-term international legal guarantees on Russia's security. Russia is seeking binding security guarantees from the West that include a pledge to roll NATO forces out of Eastern Europe and to never expand into Ukraine. Washington has flatly rejected the demands but offer talks on a new European disarmament agreement with Moscow. Kremlin said that the Russian president told his U.S. counterpart that Washington has failed to take Russia's main concerns into account and that it had received no substantial answer on key issues. That is NATO's expansion and deployment of forces to Ukraine. Now, a call between the two leaders came hours after the White House said that Russia could carry out an invasion into Ukraine any day now, even before the end of Beijing Winter Olympics. Now, Washington's warning of an all-out Russian invasion any day intensified weeks of tensions between Russia and the West. Now, following a frenzy of telephone diplomacy, Kremlin in a statement denounced Washington's statements, calling it peak hysteria. French President Emmanuel Macron too spoke to both Putin and the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky in an attempt to defuse tensions countering United States warnings over an invasion. Now the French presidency said that there were no indications from what Putin told Macron that Russia is preparing an offensive against Ukraine. Meanwhile, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is also due to travel to Kiev on Monday and then visit Putin as European leaders strive to keep lines of communication open with Moscow. Scholz had early added his voice to European pledges to punish Russia with severe sanctions, targeting its financial and energy sector if it invades Ukraine. While diplomacy continues, so does the military posturing. Apart from amassing over 100,000 troops near the Ukrainian border, Russia has been carrying out joint drills with Belarus. On Saturday, Russia launched its biggest naval drills in years across the Black Sea. More than 30 ships from the Russian Black Sea fleet have started training exercises near the Crimea Peninsula.